to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I am a mum of three. And on this channel, I want to share the ways that I am taking back control of my life starting with decluttering my house. Today I am in the kitchen. So if you've been following the series so far, I've already done the living room. Check that video out if you haven't already. And it is time to tackle the kitchen. It's not actually that bad. I've decluttered it twice before already. And it's not really a room that attracts mess besides the mess of a kitchen so you know obviously we get mess in the kitchen but the cupboards themselves they don't it's not like the playroom you know you get toys given at Christmas and things like that so it's not it's not too bad but it's things like this for example and if you've watched my series before you will know that I held on oh, there we go to these these um for Indian takeaway or a fake away at home these dishes I held on to them because I was like I really like them if I could just store them because before they were kept in the sideboard so I thought if I bring them into the kitchen I'll be more likely to use them I think I've used them once in the last two years and you know it's a shame because it's a nice idea but realistically I'm busy I haven't got time to hand wash these because they can't go in the dishwasher I haven't got time and as much as they're a lovely idea I'm just not going to use them so they'll be going so it's things like that so this cupboard you know it will be looking at the things that are in there that in previous years just let the dog out in previous years when I've held on to things thinking you know oh I'll, I'm sure I'll use them I'm sure I'll use them this is the time I'm gonna just be ruthless. I just I haven't got the energy to keep these things anymore. So that's what this is gonna be about. I'm gonna start off with the Tupperware cupboard. This is the Tupperware cupboard. And again, it's just one of those cupboards that just gets a bit crazy. So I think the whole kitchen needs rethinking, redesigning in terms of, you know, the children what do they need to be able to reach for what can i reach for so the tupperware probably could go up it i'm the only one who does it the children don't need to have it on their level so um yeah i'm gonna have a real turn around um so i think i'm gonna get everything out all are you gonna go outside go on outside outside go on there you go even like I've come up now things like the bread we don't have room for a bread bin so it just sort of lives on the side but actually the kids access this so it could go down it could go down there and then they can get their bread out for their toast um, they're the only ones who really have bread um, so that can go down there um, and then here We've got like their bowls, their plates, so they could go down there as well. So I need to get everything out of this cupboard, work out what I'm going to keep, um, and then what can go down, what can be rearranged, maybe go to the other side. <sighs> to know what what to put where it shouldn't be but um it is because i've got like some of it i think i need to like i don't think i can even put that away i think i need to move on to the next cupboard and work out what else i can move around
reason I have, I have a ton of these glycerin bottles um, is I make my own bubble mixture in the summer. Um, I will pop a link down below if you want to make some homemade bubble mix that actually works. Um, I've got a post all about it with the recipe and it's really simple. So that's what the glycerin is for. This is all old food colouring. I can go. Um, leave it there um it's almost time to go and get William it's a pain because tomorrow's the weekend like ordinarily I'd do it on a Wednesday and I'd finish it on a, a Thursday or Friday but um I'm gonna have to do it on a weekend uh, to get this done because there's still stuff everywhere but um I can't do it this afternoon so I have to leave it until tomorrow um the remaining cupboards are this one which is of glasses mugs more glasses going to be ruthless and this one which is our food cupboard which i'm sure there's stuff that's probably out of date and then there's just some drawers here and then there's the drawers on the other side but it just took longer than i thought it was going to take the mornings just go so quickly but yeah i'll carry on tomorrow <laughs> this one out I've taken a few bits out they're gonna to go to charity and I've given it a clean so I've done that one and then I've just emptied this one out cupboards done um this is the one that's left over and i honestly don't have the strength to do it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this one with my washing machine under stairs cupboard as part of the next video um so there's a lot of cleaning stuff in here some of it is from <coughs> the last time I decluttered and I was like, oh, I'm sure I'll be able to use this stuff up. There's just too much to use up. So I'm going to give a lot of it to a local reuse site um, because I'm just never going to get through it. I'm really not. So I'm going to do this cupboard and the washing machine understairs cupboard as part of the next video. But otherwise, that is all of the kitchen done. I hope that it has inspired you to have a big old sort through of your cupboards, get rid of anything that you really, truly don't use anymore and give it to charity, chuck it in the bin free up the space. See you next time. <laughs>